his brothers part one and then next week's gonna be joseph's love his brothers part two but that's coming attractions and then before we get into our scripture and prayer uh, we want to keep um, those uh, who are um, those who are frontline workers on the disasters from hurricanes to fires to frontline workers on COVID, not only here but around the world. We want to keep them in prayer on um, these complex times. Also, the movements that are going on, uh, the killings, the families that have lost uh, loved ones uh, to unnecessary shootings by our law enforcement. We want to keep the families in prayer. And the movement that uh, some, uh, not only just justice, but hearts will be opened in, in, in to the reality of humanity. People are normally not monsters. They're, they're people. They're going about their daily lives trying to do the best they can with what they have. And so we want to keep them in prayer uh, and also keep our uh, world leaders in prayer, our government in prayer, our uh, local officials in prayer. They all need our prayers. And those who are going through specific things, um, the Rucker family, we want to pray for them. And Claudia Boudel, we want to keep her in prayer. Um, so many others who are on our prayer list, Sister Teresa Newsom, uh, and our staff here at the church, uh, Sister Brother Kennedy, Sister Maria, and Sister Chevette, and myself. And uh, keep Honor Jackson in your prayers. He does a lot around here also. And uh, so many others. And I know that you have specifics. Uh, and so we want to keep that all in prayer. So does somebody have a scripture they'd like to read? Otherwise, I can. I didn't see any hands go up. So, all right. That means I'll go ahead. And read Psalms 1. Psalms 1. And I know I like the King James Version is pretty well recognized and realized, but I also want to look at, I'm going to look at this in the Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible. Psalms uh, 1, verse beginning at verse 1. Blessed happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of ungodly, following their advice, their plans, and purpose, nor stands submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather, verse two. But his delight and desire is in the law of the Lord and in his law, the precepts, the instructions, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, ponders and studies by day and by night. He shall be like a tree firmly planted and tended by the streams of water ready to bring forth his fruit in its season. His leaf shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. Not so with the wicked, those who, those disobedient and living without God are not so, but they are like the chaff, worthless, dead, without substance, which the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked, Therefore, the wicked, those disobedient and living without God, shall not be justified in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, those who are upright and in right standing with God. For the Lord knows and is fully acquainted with the way of the righteous, 
but the way of the ungodly, those living outside of God's will, shall perish, end in ruin, and come to naught. And that's Psalms 1. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today for another time to be able to just come and, and Lord, uh, lift up your word and uh, God help us to be able to know those things that you would have us to do. Forgive us our sins and wash us with your blood. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we might be guided by you and let something be said or done in this lesson today that we might all be able to grasp better uh, what you would have us to do as we begin this um, lesson today. Bless those who are here. Bless their families, their homes. Continue to, as we continue to strive to do your will daily. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, let's see here. We are in step four. Okay, so step four is here somewhere. Of course, my book is all ripped up. I happen to be missing some pages. That's good. And well, this is weird. I'm sorry, I don't know. My book is not all together, but we have the one on the screen. Oh, here it is. Good. So we talked about uh, memorizing last week. This is those five things. Hear, read, study, memorize, and meditate. We talked about hear. We talked about read. <clears throat> we talked about study. I will... Uh, unmute you because if you have any feedback okay i don't know are you meeting yourself or <clears throat> All right. So I think I. Is the I, only one that's muted. Okay, Demetria, you want to unmute yourself, or you want to be muted? Okay. That's okay. All right. Me. There you go. I heard you, but you went okay. back. You no. muted yourself again. Okay. Um. So we talked about here. Right, Romans ten seventeen. We talked about reading, First Timothy four thirteen. We talked about studying, and now, and uh, we talked about memorizing also. Pastor, did you move the the screen share down? Because we're still on the the front cover of the book, is what I'm seeing. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it says screen sharing is paused. Well, let me unpause it. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, for some reason it paused. All right. So we are on meditate. Meditate. And, uh, so let's talk about, let's look at Joshua chapter 1, Joshua. verse 
Do you have it? Yeah, I do. Okay, somebody want to read it? I can read it. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Okay. And uh, what do you think it says? This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. What, what do you think they're saying there? Demetria? What verse was it again? Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. What do you think that's saying to us? Well, it sounds like he don't want you to talk about it. <laughs> but that's not what he's saying. He's saying that it should always depart. In, in other words, no, no. What he's saying, it shouldn't depart from your mouth. In other words, it should always be there. It'd be like um, what we used to call um, all day suckers, where it was in your mouth all day. You know, that's probably supposedly, but that's why they call them all day suckers. So it was in my mouth, and as long as it's in my mouth, then uh, it wouldn't depart from my mouth. Now, what that means, the word, the word shall not depart from your mouth. In other words, the words that are in your mouth shall be spoken out and always be available to be talked about, to be able to share. And that's what he's saying here. He's saying, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Um, what do you think? Oh, okay, I didn't want to do that. Is it still there? Is the yes. book still there? Uh -huh. Okay, I must have lost it somewhere. Let me see where. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, what do you think it means to meditate? to continue to think about it. Like you're looking now, uh, Demetria. Demetria looked like she was concentrating, she was meditating, she was trying to figure it out. Mm. Uh, so when you hear the word of God, uh, meditate, meditate on it. Think about what it says. Try to understand what it's saying as you meditate. Now, there are some things you should do before you even meditate on the word. What do you think they are? Pray. Huh? Pray. Pray, yeah. What else? God. God. Yeah, that's what praying, asking God. Also, you know, who who is this book written? Who is this book of? Joshua. What book are we? Joshua. Joshua. Do y'all know who Joshua is? Yeah. Who? She say a prophet. Is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah, it's it. He's not a prophet. Oh. Remember that? Remember that? That uh, there was a song 
that Joshua. Bought the Battle of Jericho. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua <laughs> fought the battle of Jericho. So he was a leader. There we go. He was a leader of the people. He led all these people, not after the wilderness. It was after Moses led them to the end of the wilderness, but Joshua led them into the promised land. Yes. And so, um, This is God, the Lord. In the first verse, it said, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass the Lord spoke to Joshua. So here he is. Son of Nun, Moses, minister saying. So um, the Lord is speaking to him and he says, uh, you have to meditate on this word day and night and uh that what what else why do you want to meditate on it day and night so you can get understanding and wisdom so you can get understanding and wisdom yeah and what else what does look at look at uh joshua to know, 1 and god. 8. To know god better yeah look at joshua 1 and 8 and see what it says it says but thou shalt meditate Therein, day and night. That what? So you... Then you will be sure to obey everything that is written there? Yeah. See? You can be sure. That's good. You can be sure to meditate on... Um, and so, I mean, to be able to do according to all this written written and then what's the promise is there a promise there mm. that you will be wise and successful 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 yeah it says that thou shall make in other words yeah and then Thou shalt make your way prosperous, and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. So, yeah, that's that's a promise. Make your way prosperous. In other words, you will prosper. And deal wisely and have good success. So, like you said, wisdom, understanding, obedience, all those are there. That's why we want to meditate on the Word of God. Not just success, but good success. Okay, there are other um, successes. Uh, people who are successful aren't always good, right? Um, uh, let me give you an example. Those who are doing things illegal, they might make a lot of money, but that's not good success. So biblically, that's why we meditate on the word of God. So now, here's what it says, verse in, back in the book. I'm back on the screen. Look at what it says. Meditation is spiritual digestion. Amen. Amen. So, um, David says in the Psalms, taste and see that the Lord is good taste and see. So he's saying meditation is spiritual digestion. So not only do you taste, but you digest it. In other words, you get the word in you. Like when you eat food, right? You, your stomach digest it. So when we get on the word and we meditate, God bless you, and we meditate, it's a way of letting that word just settle and permeate in our hearts and in our minds. And here's what else it says. It is analyzing and dwelling on a verse over and over. So if you take that verse and you read it over and over and you say, okay, God. Um, when we look at verse one and eight again, 
this book of the law. Um, and I know he was talking about the laws of Moses, the, the five, the Torah, the five books, the what's called the, um, oh, the, the Torah and the, what's the other name for it? I can't even think of it right now. But it represents five books. And so that's what he's talking about, this book of the law. So when you meditate on it, you could say, well, what book of the law is he talking about? He's talking about the five books of Moses. So the first five books, which are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Leviticus Numbers, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, right on, yeah. That's you good. That's about Pentateuch? Pentateuch, yeah, 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 right, right. That's, That's right. Good, man. So it's the, <laughs> Thanks, George. It's the Torah, it's the Pentateuch, it's the first five books of um, Moses. Penta means five in, in numerical things. It's like a pentagon, five sided. Hexagon, what is that? Six sided, like that. And so, yeah, that's the book of the law. And he says, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta put it in your mouth. It can't, see, that's the part of the putting in your mouth. And then he says, you meditate. So it's like putting food in your mouth and now you're chewing it. If you just put food in your mouth and didn't chew it, it'll never really do what it's supposed to do. So that's what it's talking about. Just reanalyzing and dwelling on this verse over and over. Meditate on the scripture verse during the day as you drive, as you rest, as you jog, or as you play. You can meditate on that verse. So if you memorize it, then you can meditate on it, right? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. And so now we're going to look at a review. You ready? So God's word is useful for what? For this is a review. Reading. God's word is useful for reading. Love. Jesus. Y'all see the love? Teaching. Yeah, it's useful for teaching. What's God's that? word is useful for rebuking. Rebuking. Let me see. Let me see. Did I go past it? Where are you? Rebuking. Yeah. God's word is useful for correction of error. Correction of error. God's word is useful for. Training in righteousness. Training in righteousness, godly behavior. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's a, that's good. It's a good review. Yeah. So um, using the hand illustrations, uh, fill in the five methods of Bible study. So what are the five methods? Here. I'll we'll give you quick flashes. Hear. Read. Mm, let me see. What else? Study. What else? Hmm. What's that one? About it. About it. Memorize. Memorize and what did we learn today? Take. Take. What do we do today? Talked about. Joshua meditate. wanted meditate. All right. So uh, the question is asked, when would be a good time each day for you to spend in the Bible? Now that's for you to answer. And I'm gonna ask, so what's a good time for you? Some people like doing the morning, some at noon, some at night. Uh, you should actually Try to find Do it every day. Every day. Every day. 
and every night, and every morning. Yeah. And all day. And even sometime during the day. You can meditate on that word during the day, even though you don't have a Bible in front of you. If you have it memorized, you can just think about it. Just, man, what was that? What is that saying? What is that saying to me? What are you saying to me, God? Are there any promises there? Are there any things I need to obey? So the scripture we, led, we read today, Joshua 1 and 8, it showed us that we could, uh, we were to what? Meditate. We were to meditate. 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 And, and what else? What else did it let us know? How often? Day and night, night and day. Uh -huh. And morning day. That we might be able to do what? And morning day. Read God's word. Read God's word, but what else? And prosper. If you read, if you read oh yeah, that, that's the promise. We ain't got to the promise yet. Because before you get to the promise, there's something else. Yeah. Do everything in it. Yeah, you have to do everything in it. You have to obey. Wow. And so you can't just read. You can't just meditate. You have to do it. And then once you do it, God has a promise, and the promise is he'll make your way prosperous, yeah. and mm -hmm. you'll deal wisely and have good success. Now, who doesn't want success? You don't want success? Yeah. Yeah, we want success. All right. I want then. Success. Yeah, I think everybody wants success. Well, God promised success right there. Yeah. Good success. And so, yeah, these are the things we can find out um, in the Word of God. Now, let's look at this Psalms 119, verse 18. Oh. The hundred and nineteenth Psalms. You have it, the 119th Psalms, verse 18. What does it say? Can I stop? Receive it on the screen. Here it is. Open my eyes that I may see, see wonderful things in your law. All right. Lord, that's what he's saying. I, now, I know you have your eyes open now, right? Physically, your eyes are open because I can see everybody. And so our eyes are open. But that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the eyes of your heart. In other words, open my heart so that I can see the wonderful things. In other words, I can be able to know or have a view of those wonderful things. Wonderful things in your law, right? Yeah. Wonderful things. What are some of the wonderful things that God has shown you? God's love. His love, yeah. Yeah. His kindness. His kindness. What else? Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy, yes. Mercy. 
Yeah, what else? Uh, God. The Bible. The Bible. Strength. The Bible. What was that? His strength. His strength. Yeah. His power. And His glory. majesty. His mercy. Mercy. Yeah. I was mentioned. Mercy is a good one. What about something we need all the time? Grace. Well, he said grace and mercy. He gave us opportunity to pray, yeah. It's a it's a big one. It's a big one. Forgiveness? Oh yeah, definitely forgiveness. Yeah. Wisdom? Wisdom? Salvation? Yeah. Eternal life. Understanding? Yeah. What about that food in your ice box? Ice box. Ice box. Refrigerator, sorry. <laughs> wow. The what food about, that God made? What about what about what about the clothes on your back? Hey, back. What are those called? What about the smile on your face? What is that called? You're happy. Happy. Another word is? Yes. Joy. 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 What about his blessings? Blessings. 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 I tried to give you a cute clue when I said it's big. Yeah. That's yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so many, so many wonderful things that God has shown us personally and through his law, right? Through the word, or through the word yeah. of God, right? Right. And so God is awesome. He's awesome. So, yeah. yeah. And so don't forget those things every day. Now, next week, we'll start in step five, learn to pray. Bye. We're going to be praying up in here. Yeah. And then once we learn to pray, notice how people use uh, some of these ways of praying. You'll be able to see it when people pray. You know, this is all about God. Yeah. And it's about us being obedient. It's about us um, blessing the Lord. He's already blessed us with everything. He's given us all the spiritual blessings, physical blessings. He's given us life and eternal life. And, and how do we bless God back? By being obedient, by praying. And you just can't pray to God anyway. That's the other thing. You really can't. A lot of people think, oh Lord, just give me this, give me that, give me, give me, give me. He's already given us a lot. And a lot of times when we pray, we want to thank, pray in a spirit of thanksgiving. So any other questions or comments? What do you think about today's lesson? Mm, Jesus. Jesus. All right. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. You keep changing your background, Demetria. She will learn how to do her backgrounds. <laughs> what are you doing, Michelle? Yeah. She had the lion there before. Rawr. Come on, Michelle. No. Any other comments or questions or concerns? I like when they said, you know, when they were asking about a good time each day for you to spend in Bible study. Mm -hmm. And my first one, I mean, I'm fortunate enough where I am. I get Bible study all day long, so it's great. But that time alone that I have with God, I like to do first thing in the morning. I kind of think of it as like a staff meeting with the CEO before we start our work day. Amen. <laughs> to me, it just Amen. starts my whole day. So Amen. I ask him to just be with me throughout, you know, the whole day before I start anything. Um, I spend time alone with God. We call it my tag time, T-A-G, time alone with God. And my tag Amen. time is in the morning. Amen. Amen. That's Thank good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Yeah, it's a good time in the morning. Yeah. And at night, and all day long, really. But that specific, that time aside, you set aside to be alone with God. That's yeah. important also. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right, let's close with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Anybody have any prayer requests? The people yes, of Louisiana, Louisiana, the more I'm reading, they really got devastated in parts of Louisiana. Louisiana? Really okay. Bad. Hurricane victim? Yes. Tanaya, did you have some? Thanks. Huh? Chucky. Thank you. Please, please pray for the fire. Yes, yes. fire what? victims, hurricane victims. Demetrius. My mom. Yeah, pray for my mom. Okay. okay. Demetrius. To help the virus and fire to stop. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Her baby died. Baby died. Baby. All right. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you today for allowing us to just gather together and uh, look at how important it is just to study your word, knowing that the word of God leads us to the throne of grace and mercy, that we might be able to see you better and know you better and be more obedient and that we make wise decisions and prosper and get good success from you. Father, I just pray for the prayer requests that were made up there for the hurricane victims on the East Coast, Louisiana, Florida, all the different places around there. The fires in California, Lord, and, and other places that are just individual fires, those responders uh, who come and sometimes even risk their lives to be able to uh, stop fires and help victims uh, who are victims of the fires and those who are dealing with uh, this COVID-19 God, the frontline workers on that are healthcare workers and those who have family members and loved ones who are in the process of, of being ill with the COVID Thank you. and Lord I just uh, pray uh, that uh, I know it's all in your hand we don't always like it or always agree with uh, the way it happens, but we trust you as our Lord. And we put everything in your hands and we pray for the Rucker family and Sister Rucker and we pray for the children and the babies and those who are uh, doing school online and so many other adjustments, transformations that are made as our world. Our world is the same, but our system has to change. We pray for those victims of uh, law enforcement shootings and killings and, and the unrest behind that, God. Just touch hearts and minds that people might be able to see the true uh, picture of what we're really looking at. And Lord, we just ask your blessings on all of that. We know you are God and you are Lord. And since you are, we put it all in your hands and say, not our will, but thine be done. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. 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 All right. God bless you. We'll see you soon in prayer. Good night. Good night, puppy. Huh? Good night. Oh, my. Huh? 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 Hey, there. Hey, how you doing? What is that? Oh, yeah, nice. That's nice. I like that. Who did? Now I did it. Wow, hey Nana. Uh, <laughs> I'm Maria George. I woke up late. What? But I got the lesson. Yeah, I was listening. Wait. Good. <laughs> See you uh, at five, God willing. <laughs> all right. All right. God bless you, Maria. Bye. 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 Bye you. No, you put so much. <laughs> <laughs>